on five. Hi, I'm Zach. I attend, I'm in sixth grade, and I attend Huntington Middle School. Hi, I'm Isaac. I'm in seventh grade at Polytechnic School. I also play the piano. Hi, I'm Maddox. I'm in the sixth grade, and I also go to Huntington Middle School, where I am a part of the choir. So now you know what music is, the different types of music, the different instruments, and how to read music. Now we will learn about, now we'll learn about the science behind music. Let's start from the beginning. Sound comes from the wavelengths and frequencies that a certain object emits. Wavelengths are the lengths of waves from crest to crest or tro to tro. The crests are the bottom and lowest point of the waves. Frequency is the number of waves in a given period of time. In music, notes are determined by the different wavelengths and frequencies. Frequencies are measured in hertz and wavelengths. Things are generally measured in centimeters. For example, a concert C has a frequency of 32.7 hertz and a wavelength of 1054.94 centimeters. Both of these two units of measurement come together to make the sounds we enjoy. Higher frequencies and shorter wavelengths create higher pitch sounds, as well as lower, longer wavelengths and low frequencies create lower pitch sounds. We can interpret these differences in sound and notes because when sound goes into our ears, our eardrum vibrates, which in turn vibrates the bones close to our ear, which then vibrates liquid in our ear that is connected to around 200 plus nerves, which send electrical signals to our brain, helping us interpret sound. The different ways that the liquid and nerves vibrate help our brains determine which notes we are hearing. If you have ever heard of perfect pitch, where someone can immediately differentiate between different notes and sounds, Normally, the average person's ear and brain will determine sound about 12 hertz from people with perfect pitch, or 440 hertz tuning. While well, one person with perfect pitch can generally determine sound at 432 hertz. Musicians can develop semi-perfect pitch, and when they start learning and practicing music at a very young age. Musicians who start learning music at younger ages also have a higher tendency to be better at tuning. Tuning is when multiple instruments of the same section can sound nicely together and have the same frequency and wavelength for the same note. For example, if you have two trumpets playing a C, but one is 10 hertz off and higher, then they are sharp. So they have to make the instrument longer with their tuning slide to make the note flat. Once the wavelengths and frequencies are almost identical, then the two trumpet players can say that they are in tune. In our first video, you learn about the difference between a clarinet and an alto saxophone. While both of these instruments are reed instruments, they have different pitches naturally. If you were to play a C on a clarinet and a C on the saxophone, they would sound different. This is because naturally, a clarinet is a B-flat instrument, while a saxophone is a D instrument. In order to play the same note on these two instruments, you'd have to play a B-flat on the clarinet and a D on the saxophone. This would create a concert C pitch. In short, Instruments, different instruments naturally create different leg, uh, wavelengths and frequencies. Thanks for watching this series of videos. We hope to see you in the Pasadena Youth Symphony Orchestra soon.